for <laughs> maybe three months. Steve started the video already. Four uh, months. It might be, yeah, it might be longer. The winter thing is over. I thought we saw Avatar last. Oh, that's like the summer. Like, that's well, I'm not sure we've January. seen anything since Avatar. Well, that's a tough one, yeah. Okay, in case you didn't get from Steve's references, we're going back to the galaxy tonight. Uh, Steve's very excited. He loves the drive-ins. I do. I, be, I, I went to the galaxy. First time I went was 1975. Wow. What, what are we seeing tonight, Stephen? Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. So we're not, like, gamers or... Are you a car fan? Do you love your cars? Ooh, probably 50-50. Mm. Yeah, you know what's really weird? I was thinking, driving in my car on the way here, is that your place, which is not far from the Kingsley Drive in Galaxy, um, it used to be at the end of the freeway, didn't it? It did. It just yeah. shows how much... All these people are coming to Perth. Yeah, things change, keep changing. Watch in your hot little hand there. A free pass to the galaxy. Yeah, thanks to some kind person. Yeah, so if you go to the cafe at the galaxy, they do have vouchers there. So if, if you've got a, 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 like a friend in mind who loves the drive-in, um, then you can go to the galaxy and get yourself a pass and make someone very, very happy. It's the ideal That'll Christmas very present. Happy. They will love you for it, okay? So let's get on the road. Uh, I'm going to hit Red Rooster up first. And then, uh, well, then we're heading to the drive-in again. Okay, step one. We're here at Red Rooster. And we just had a huge queue of people doing the drive-thru. Blocking the way. Good job, guys. We have our food. We got our chicken. I got a chicken uh, salad roll, roll combo and drink and chips. And we're ready to go off. I think we might still be a bit too early to get straight in. But you never know. Sometimes they open the gate early. And like when you go to a theme park, sometimes it's worth turning up a little early just in case you want to get in first, so never hurts to be just a little bit early. There we go, there's the screen, there's the car's waiting line, there's someone walk, driving on the wrong side of the street because we're blocking their way. I've left a little bit of space here for in case this person or the person behind us needs to get out. That's generous of you. <laughs> Many people wouldn't have done that, like, the, ooh, someone else is driving down the wrong side of the street. Uh, but I don't know, and also like you're told as well when you go to driving to make sure you don't make lots of noise when you leave out because th there are houses right up to the back of the screen there. Um, so the houses are close nearby. So uh, a couple more minutes, hopefully we'll get in. So it is, it's 6.12 now. We've been stationary for like 12 minutes and they haven't opened early, all those predictions gone wrong. But I have managed to finish off my dinner. We might get some snacks uh, in the uh, the candy bar, or whatever, at the drive-in when we when we finally get in. Hopefully, just be a couple of minutes before we get in there. This is a really weird thing, but we just noticed that there are poles at the side of this little entranceway, and there's houses just here as well. So I don't know. You think? Do you think this was always the entrance? It looks like it was part of the drive-in. Was the entrance coming in from a different way, maybe? Hmm. They're definitely the old uh, speaker. Yeah, the old speaker poles, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Getting towards the front of the line. I think it was worth the wait, but. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a long way on the uh, on the road. Could have been this time last year. Top Gun was on, I think. Yeah, and then um, Tim, Adrian, and myself went to see um, Bullet Train here when it was freezing cold, and we sat in the back of the thing. Ooh, that one. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Steve's got a Top Gun story to tell, but yeah, we're finally in. The sun's basically set. Uh, we got in quite well, the, the voucher works, uh, which is really good to know. So we had the, the vouchers for four, but you can use half at one time, half at later. So it's really important to know these things. And we've got a decent spot. We're kind of like in line with the projection box. So the projection box that way, uh, we're off to the left of that. For some reason, I keep favoring the left-hand side. Maybe because like later on, people kind of went there, get fed in, they're more likely to go to the right. Maybe for that reason. And what's your story? All right, so listen, I've got this Top Gun story, okay? Now, we saw Top Gun here at the Galaxy. You, oh, yeah, we saw the second one here, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, the second one. Yeah. Uh, the 2022 <clears throat> one. Yeah. Anyway, all right, so I've been thinking about Top Gun 1, yeah. Top Gun 2, oh, yeah. <laughs> and the possibility of Top Gun 3. I'm sure it won't take them another 25 years to make number 3. All right, so Top Gun 1 made in 1986. Yeah. Okay. Top Gun 2 made in 2022. It came out in 2022. It might have been made before in COVID. Oh, we'll we'll assume even. the release date. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so that is uh, 22 and 14 makes 36. <laughs> All right, so it's yeah, yeah. 36 years between sequels. All right. <laughs> so if we use that logic, yeah. How then top, Tom Cruise Top Gun 3 he's like 85 will, be, <laughs> will be on our screens. Yes. Well, 22 plus 36 makes 2058. Yeah, okay. sure that'll happen. So, um, Top Gun 3 coming out in 2058. 
Now, um, oh, wait a minute. Let's 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 make a bet. Will Top Gun three come out soon, or will there be no Top Gun three? Because they're not going to well, wait until to Tom Cruise is eighty to start filming the next. Well, maybe one. it's the son of Tom Cruise. Yeah, no, yeah, it could knows? be, or it could be um, the uh, AI Tom Cruise, like yeah. the CGI Tom Cruise, or that could be fake Tom Cruise. Now we make there is certain, a fake Tom Cruise. Yeah, if we make certain assumptions. <laughs> when did the Galaxy open? 1975, 1976? Uh, it's either early 70s or late 60s because it looks right. early. I think it's like 72, I think. So, all right, let's say yeah. 72. Yeah. So that's 28 years. Yeah. And it's 2022 now. Yeah. That's 40 years. Yeah. So the Galaxy has been around for 40 years. Yes. And it's going to take 36 years for the next Top Gun so sequel. So will, will the Galaxy still be around we, well, for that? Well, given that, given that it's been around for 40 years, we'll yeah. make an assumption but that no, it's... But that, that's, what, that's the problem with life. Like... When we first started going to the movies, like all the cinemas were based in town. You had lots of drive-ins. All the cinemas were based in town. You know, records, LP, long playing records have been out for like 100 years or 70 years or whatever. But you, you just presumed everything was forever. I think as you get older, you find out it's not. Cinema City only lasted 27 years. Yeah. You know, like this has been around for a long time. But, you know, it might be something more to do with the family that runs it. Like surely the family must be in a trust because if one person dies and then they have to divide the profits or whatever, then the place will close. To cut to the chase, yes. the exciting news, if it's going to be a Top Gun 3 in 2058, yeah. here at the Galaxy, you know what, that, you know what that'll mean? I don't know. It means we can get in with a pension of concession. We, we'll be able to get in with a pension of concession card soon anyway. It's not going to matter. Well, you... we'll still get a pension of concession. <laughs> In 2058, <laughs> for Top Gun 3. I don't even know 3. if they have, like, the, the, the entry price here is concession. So, so cheap. So it's no, $11 I, I don't, now, I don't th yeah, it'll be $9 it, it, or something. $2 saving. No, it'll be like $20 <laughs> and it'll be down to 18 or something like that. <laughs> but isn't, isn't that great? Yeah. Top, uh, Top Gun 3 with Tom Cruise. Really looking forward to that And the Galaxy. One. Okay. With pension a concession, okay, I got, can't we've wait. We've got drink and food. Actually, we've got some rubbish to get rid of. I think we should go get our popcorn and our candy or our lollies. And then we'll come back. Right. And maybe do a walk Don't forget too. Top Gun 3, 2058, and bring your pension a concession card. If you're Stephen. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. Wow, look at that sunset behind us. I think it's actually a bit missing. Steve's just noticed. Yeah, I noticed the light coming through it before, but somehow, somehow someone has busy taking a chunk out of the, the thing over there. So that's not a great look. Hopefully they repair it soon. We should yeah. ask about that. But um, how do you feel about going the driving, Stephen? You happy? Oh, I'm happy, yes. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know technically speaking, the driver is not as good as many modern cinemas, but it's this nostalgia for me, that feeling. And also, too, like the no stress of like, it's a family night out, you can, you know, you're uh, amongst the stars. Wow, look at the light there. Um, you know, like it's really relaxing and enjoyable. I love that. I, and, and growing up when we did and having drive ins, you know, it's such a good experience. I there love is it. a, um, I can't think of what it's called, but there is a, uh, you know, Depeche Mode. Yeah. There's a Depeche Mode song and it starts off like a car pulls into a drive in. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. I was like, you were about to say, like, stranded the drive in, like, in Greece. And of course, there's yeah. a drive in scene in Blue Thunder, I think. Oh, there's so many. Oh, even in um, Heat, isn't there one Pete, in Heat that's where the film has like, yes, got the yes, gun or whatever? It. Yeah, look so, at the sun setting yeah, behind us. Survives, yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's go get some. Oh, and Greece, when she's singing that, yeah. she's singing that song. Yeah, and... stranded the drive in. You know, yeah, he, yeah, 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 he does. Cool. Okay, let's uh, head let's back go, there. Let's go, yes. Okay, so we have our popcorn and we have our... Maltesers. Maltesers. Do you have any candy as lollies as well or not? No, I think it's enough. Oh, right, fair enough. Cool. Okay, and was it very expensive or was it, um, was, was it cheaper than Hoyt's and um, other places? Probably, yeah, slightly cheaper. I think it's it was a lot cheaper. Like yeah. from them. I mean, I think the popcorn's maybe smaller, but how much popcorn do you need? I don't know. Um, cool. Any other thoughts before we see Cran Turismo tonight? Um... We're, we're, we're still going indoors tonight. Like, when it gets a bit warmer, you get the deck chairs, you get the little stereos, and you can sit outside and enjoy your movie. But tonight, I've got the car washed, so it smells pretty good. Probably not anymore with the food. And uh, we're ready to go. And, um, yeah, final thoughts before the movie starts. Uh, I don't know too much about Grand Crit. Uh, yeah, we're kind of going this one blind. But I think that's the magic of the driving. I think I think uh, the main character was a gamer. Yeah. Uh, with, well, 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 we don't know, do we? On racing cars, and <laughs> then can, he gets a chance yeah. to actually drive a real racing car. Okay. But, um, yeah, no, it's good to be back. It's always just such a good feeling. Like, we grew up at a tail end of, like, you could pack your car full of mates, go see a cheap double feature in those days, double feature, um, and... You could do that and, you know, you'd have a cheap night out. Even then, people would try and, like, crawl under the fence or hide in the back of the car. Oh, we've only got two people here. Yeah, that kind of thing. 
Uh, and I think that's why for a while, like here on Tuesday nights, they do $22 for the car. So it doesn't matter how many people you're crammed with the boot, you're playing a set price of $22. That's a good way to get people in Cheap Tuesday. So luckily, like it's actually the advantage is if you have an old car, it's better to take it to drive because new cars, sometimes you can't really turn off. And I finally got the sound to work, so I turned it down because of that. And uh, I got a button here so it turns the screen off. Because if you don't have this button here that turns the screen off, you have to watch it, look at that during the whole film. Mm. So, like, yeah, uh, there, are, there are some cars where it's better to take the drive in. I have seen some people with electric cars, and, like, uh, I think they drain most of the battery. And, I mean, they do have jump starts available here, plus you could call the RAC if you wanted to. Um, but they do go, go around check. If you're still here later on, and maybe when we finish talking afterwards, we'll still be here, and they'll come around and just go, are you okay? They'll just check to make sure you're okay. Okay, it was 89.5, which was just yeah, the next thing down. Right. Oh, and there's like three ads before the film starts, so it's always well, pretty good here. Let's have a look at our view. With a large range of stylish designs to suit every block size and every lifestyle. Steven, Gran Turismo has finished. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it's a suitable drive-in? Was the best place to see this film? I'd say probably with the special effects, probably would have been better in a cinema, but. Uh, no, look, it was okay. It's just, uh, yeah, it was very by the numbers, wasn't it? It was mm -hmm. like a, a twelve-year-old boy film because it's about the story of a you know, like a gamer who became a and it's based on a real life story, which I didn't mm. know. Yeah, and of course he's a winner at the end. Yes, yeah, aren't we all. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it was, it was a very kind of like easy to follow kind of film. And they really kind of explained it, like you know, first place, second place, third place, whatever. And um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, and I, one thing that's really important when it comes to watching a movie at the drive-in is the fact that if it's got too many night scenes, uh, it's really hard to see on a drive-in screen. I don't think it, it did that. It was not too bad, was it? No, uh, not too bad. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. So cool. Okay, well, um, that was fun. Um, thanks for coming along. Well, thank you for um, coming along, Stephen, and thank you for getting us in for free. Thanks to the voucher that some kind person gave you. That was a very kind person, that person who gave it to me. <laughs> yes. I just got to find out who it is. Yes, one day. Without afraid. that person, I wouldn't have been able to see Gran Turismo at the <laughs> Galaxy Drive-In. Yes, and it was a, a fairly enjoyable film by the numbers. Yeah, yep. fairly enjoyable, but pre predictable in the way that, uh, <laughs> yes, we have our hero and he comes from nowhere and yeah. um, he gets a once in a lifetime chance and then, but Without then he emerges hero, yeah. with encouragement from his mentors. And, and his team. Yeah, the mentor relationship was very important, wasn't it? Yes. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, catch you next time. See you then. Catch Bye. You soon. Bye. <laughs>Couple more minutes, hopefully we'll get in. Just imagine if you have one of those houses, you could um, tune set up into your the radio. Portable chairs yeah. um, out in your backyard and watch the movie at the Galaxy. There you go. Or you could pay the 11.50 or whatever it is to get in. It's not that much.